So when it comes to the Spanish kitchen, I would say that tortilla de patatas, the classic Spanish potato omelet, is our national dish. Like seriously, you'll find it at almost every tapas bar and restaurant here in Spain. It's so simple but so good. Of course, there's a lot of different versions of it, and certain regions make it in their own style. Today, I'm going to show you how to make one of the best regional Spanish tortillas. We're talking una tortilla payesa. This tortilla hails from the province of Girona in beautiful Catalonia in northeastern Spain. It's very similar to the classic potato omelet, upset we're going to add in some fresh produce to it to give it a beautiful lift of flavors. Folks, this tortilla is very easy to make. You can serve it for any meal of the day and it comes together in just 40 minutes. We're going to begin by getting all our ingredients ready. I'm going to cut three small to medium sized potatoes into small chunks that are about a quarter inch thick. These potatoes have already been peeled and washed. Now to make this recipe, you can use whatever type of potatoes you like. The ones I'm using are new potatoes, which are very similar to Yukon Gold or Golden Delight. For the next ingredient, I'm going to grab one large onion and roughly dice it. Then I'm going to grab one red bell pepper. To make this recipe, I'm only going to use half of the bell pepper and roughly chop it. And we'll do the exact same thing with half of a green bell pepper. And we'll grab one large tomato and roughly chop it as well. And for the final ingredient to prepare, I'm going to crack six cage-free organic eggs into a large bowl. Season the eggs with sea salt and a little freshly cracked black pepper. And whisk the eggs together until they're well combined. All right, let's start cooking up our dish. I'm gonna grab a large nonstick fry pan, heat it with a medium high heat, and add in half a cup of extra virgin olive oil. When you're making a Spanish tortilla, you wanna use extra virgin olive oil as it's what really gives it that authentic Spanish flavor. After heating the olive oil for two minutes on a medium high heat, I'm gonna add in the pieces of potato, and mix them around with that extra virgin olive oil. The secret here, make sure each piece of potato is coated in that olive oil and you don't have to mix this continuously. Just get in there about every one to two minutes. That way all the potatoes are evenly fried. After about 12 minutes and the potatoes have a beautiful light golden fried color to them, they should be perfectly cooked. You can always pierce them with a toothpick and if it easily goes in, they are ready to go. I'm going to grab the potatoes and transfer them into a large bowl. Now using the same pan with the same heat, I'm going to add in the roughly diced onion, the chopped up bell peppers, and our roughly chopped tomato. And mix all the vegetables around with that extra virgin olive oil, just like the potatoes, the secret here. Make sure all the vegetables are coated in that olive oil. And once again, you don't have to mix this continuously. You just get in there about every one to two minutes. That way nothing burns and all the vegetables evenly cook. After about 10 minutes, all these vegetables should be perfectly cooked and they have a beautiful light golden fried color. I'm going to add the potatoes back into the pan and season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give this a quick mix, that way all these ingredients are evenly mixed together. Once everything's well mixed, I'm going to remove the pan from the heat and transfer all the vegetables into the bowl with the whisked eggs. And once again, give this a quick mix, that way all these ingredients are evenly mixed together.
For the final step, let's cook up our Spanish tortilla. Using the same pan, I'm gonna heat it with a low to low medium heat and add the egg and vegetable mixture into the pan. And just get in there and give it a quick mix. That way everything's in a single layer. And again, very important, you wanna be on a low to low medium heat. If you're on a higher heat, your tortilla's gonna burn in the bottom and those eggs are not gonna fully cook. After about two minutes, I'm gonna run a spatula through the outer edges of the pan. This is just to ensure that the eggs are not sticking to the pan. That way when we do the flip, it doesn't cause a huge mess. Okay, it's been about four to five minutes since we added the mixture into the pan and it's time to flip the tortilla to cook the other side. This is a very simple technique. You wanna use a plate that's slightly smaller than the pan. That way when you place it on top, it fits in there like a glove. In one swift move, I'm gonna flip the pan into the dish and then gently slide the tortilla back into the pan. And make sure to grab anything that's left over on that dish. Now using the back of a spatula, I'm gonna compact the tortilla from the outer edges towards the center. This is what gives it that classic rounded edge. After nine to 10 minutes, that's four and a half to five minutes per side, this Spanish tortilla should be perfectly cooked. I'm gonna remove it from the heat and transfer it into a serving dish. Check it out, our tortilla payesa is done. This is a one of a kind Spanish tortilla, very easy to make. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. This tortilla came out unbelievable, here we go. All these ingredients together, it has such an amazing flavor. Like I told you earlier, very similar to the classic Spanish potato omelet, but by adding those vegetables in there, gives it a beautiful lift of flavor. So you saw this very easy to make, comes together in 40 minutes. Again, serve it for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, doesn't matter when, the flavors are gonna blow you away. Now you know how to make una tortilla payesa from Girona, Catalonia. Really quick before I go, a shout out to one of my patrons, Dr. Michael Barbitz. Once again, Dr. Michael, thank you for being a patron of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you're not with me on Patreon, consider becoming one. It helps with ingredients and equipment to continue making videos videos like this, you'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and I card above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment below and if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.